Hey everybody, what's up? James here. I'm going to do some shout outs and then I'm going to show you a couple of things with my fish tank. Alright, first off, my shout outs are Angela Justice, Dayoli, The New, Buntoro, Planet Tank UK, Hugo Pets, Pace, Andonaski, Fish Tank Itis, SB Aquatics 1990, Pet Lover 997. Mr. C. Sup, Oscar Lover 131, Santor 420, Nick Lagoni, R2 DAJ 520, and Zekrom 886. Guys, thank you very much for subbing my channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'm glad to see you guys aboard. Thanks again. Thank you very much. All right. I had gone away to go hunting for a few days and when I got back I noticed my tank turned into a jungle. The uh, Kabumba, as you can see, I did have it chopped off to about this point here. I guess I should say cropped is a better word. But uh, you can see right there clearly where I had topped it. Well, these two new tops that were down here are clear up here now. So that's like within four or five days, they just went berserk on me. They shot all the way up there. Those are nice looking plants, so I gotta give them their due, man. They're sharp looking plants. All of these things. That's the purple cabamba. And then also, my java fern decided to go a little crazy on me. And this thing took off, and now it's going across the actual top of the water. So, I don't know if I'm going to just leave it or let it do what it's going to do. But it's looking pretty awesome. I need to break out the lawnmower on my Java Moss. This thing had turned into a big mass of green, big time. And then also, this Kabamba here also did the same thing. It's getting up there. It's growing really well as well. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome looking plant. Love these things, how they look. And then other than that, let's see what else. We've got the center one here. It needs a little more trimming. It's kind of got a little ratty on there. My background plant went berserk on me again. i got to bring it back down. And then this here java fern as well. It's going all over, different directions. Jungle vial on the back. Look at this, it's all the way up into the power head now. This thing is just, the more I cut it, the more strands coming out. It's a thinner, finer type of strand, but these things are just going nuts on me. So, I'm going to have to trim them back down again. And here's the three plants that I had done the bleaching on. I just wanted to give you an update and show you what they look like now. See how that all the edges are clean now? I mean, it still has a little bit of algae on this, but the plecos and one that haven't even got over here to mess with these. They probably don't even know how clean they are. But, uh, yeah, you can see the black air is totally dead and gone. And if there, there might be a little speck of some every once in a while, but, I mean, compared to what they were, this is nothing. And the plant's salvageable, you know. So, there you have it as far as bleaching your plants. It didn't hurt the plants any. And it's a very simple two minute process. As long as you got your bleach, you're good to go. So, you can see they're all looking really good. They're still nice and green. Like I said, they still got a little bit of algae on them, but. That's all right. That's not going to kill them. This center plant is actually doing really well. Just notice that it formed a new leaf as well. I actually forget which one this one was. I don't know if it was a type of, I think it's the Amazon, but I'm not sure. But then here's a sword back here. That's still doing its thing. I didn't get to the Java, I mean the uh, Blackbeard on it. 
but it's dissipating so much in here it didn't really matter it's failing to survive I guess you could say but uh, and here's this little Brazilian sword here I had taken off the once leaf as you can see because it got blackbird on it but since I did this look at all these new growths that popped out they're just coming out of nowhere now so that little trim work did the job for this little plant my grass failed I think I'm gonna give up on grass I mean look at this stringy looking little mass where does it go right here look at this no oh, not the sun did I'm sorry no I can't even see it alright hold on let me get it out of there there it is look at this it's just a mass of nothing so unless you guys got some suggestions for grass you know I would really like to have some but this stuff does not want to take off in my tank for nothing I mean it keeps growing new runners and whatnot but still it's not doing what I would expect it to be doing so there you have it I think it's looking pretty good it definitely needs to trim up but overall I think it looks pretty nice still haven't quite figured out where I'm going to want to put everything just kind of letting it do its thing for now until I figure it out exactly but I did get another piece of jo or piece of driftwood from upstate that I'm going to try to utilize in here it's a pretty long piece so we'll have to see I'll probably bring it from this corner and go over this way I don't know how it's going to look against this iron wood but we'll see all right guys that's it again thanks to all my new subs that's 15 new subs in about a week and a half I really appreciate it and with that I will talk to you guys later bye bye